It's our channel, Brasil Tupiniquim, this is Armando Dias, and in this lesson today we are going to talk about letters and phonemes, or in Portuguese, letras e phonemas. This is going to be one of the most important lessons in our preliminary studies of the Portuguese language, because in this lesson I plan to show you uh, some uh, special features of uh, certain letters and also the phonemes, some of the most important phonemes in our language. I think this is going to be very interesting for you, so stick around and then I'm going to teach you some very nice thing about our language. This is my phone number and my email address in case you want to get in touch with me for uh, English lesson or Portuguese lesson, okay? So let's dive right into the subject of today's lesson. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, E, R, S, T, I, V, W, X, uh, Y, Z. The first thing I want to call your attention to is that the letter C, K, and K. They all have the same sound in Portuguese. Uh, though the letter K is not used in normal uh, conversation, but it has the same sound as, as K, as C, and K. They all have the same sound. For example, K, K, even though you write it with a C, but it has the sound of a K. So, cada, that means each. Cada. Cinco, that's the number five. Cinco. As you see, as you already know, we changed O into a U. Que, queda, that means fall. Queda. But for you to use the letter K, you have to put the vowel U together. So, there is no word in Portuguese with only the letter K. You have to use the letter U. So, queda. Queda means fall. Cocada. Cocada. It's a Brazilian sweet made of uh, coconut. Cocada. Very delicious, by the way. Cocada. Palm tree. Co. Que. Ru. Even though you write it with an I. Co. Que. Ru. But you don't say E. You say. You don't say E. You say E. Co. Que. Ru. Co. Que. Ru. Okay. Now, the other letter that we need to pay close attention to is. G and J. G and J. Why? Because they have the same J sound. For example, with the G, G we have colegio, colegio, that means high school, colegio. Garage, garage. Ga by the way, normally the this letter together with a uh, normally you say ga ga okay so ga ga ra jane but here the same letter changes the phoneme into j j oh by the way in uh, in international phonetic alphabet, this is the representation of the sound J. Garage. Watch. Watch. Relógio. J. So we have colégio, garagem, relógio. Now with the letter J or J, we have, for example, for example, canjica. Canjica is is a Brazilian dish made of uh, corn. Canjica. Jejum means fast. You go without food. So, jejum, jum, jum. 
uh, dinner, né? Or to have dinner. Jantar. Travel or trip. Viajar. We change this into just a. Viajar. Okay, the next two letters are L and U. Why is that? It is because in Portuguese there are letter uh, there are words uh, with the sound that we write with an L but it has the sound of a U and vice versa. So this uh, presents some kind or some level of difficulties for the students. Okay, L and U or, or L and U. Ooh. Okay, for for example, we have a word like canal, 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 which means channel or canal, canal uh, TV channel or uh, Panama canal. We use the same word, canal, 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 not canal. Canal, mensal means monthly, something that happens every month, we say me sal. By the way, this is the, the same word for salt, sal, sal. Me sal, anel, ring, ring, legal or nice, legal, legal. Now, words with you, veil, veil, veil. Chapéu, hat, chapéu. This is hell, which means defendant in a in a in a in a courtroom, for example. Hell. Degrau means step of a stair, for example. Degrau. Degrau. The most characteristic case is this one here, because we have the same sound. Mal. Mal, written with this, uh, with uh, different word uh, letters, but the sound is different. Is the same. For example, mal, mal, mal means uh, the evil. For example, Satan, the evil. The evil is everywhere. O mal está por toda parte. The evil is everywhere. And mal here is uh, bad. He is a bad person. Ele é uma pessoa ruim, ruim, ruim ou o mal. Ok? So we have the same pronunciation, but the, the grammatical uh, classes are different. So this is a noun, né? a noun, whereas this one is an adjective. So that's the difference. Ok? Our wow. next letter is the letter S. Uh, in Portuguese, the letter S has two phonemes or two sounds. It functions as an S, which is S, or it has the sound of Z or Z. As a S phoneme, we have senso, senso, which means sense, né? sense. Common sense, for example, C. Su, you, né? Casca, casca, that means peel, orange peel, uh, onion peel, casca, casca. Density, de cidade, de cidade, de cidade. Now with the sound of a z, mesa, table. Mesa, house, casa, sound of a z, né? Casa, coisa, means thing, uh, nothing, everything, thing, so coisa. So we have mesa, casa, coisa. Now the letter X or letra X, X. Basically, the letter X or letra X has four different uh, sounds or phonemes. Is plosão. Is sound of a s. 
né? explosão, explosion, extinto, extinct, explodir, to explode, exato, né? exact, to be precise, exato, exam, exame, just like in English, né? X also has the sound of a Z in English. <laughs> Example, the same thing happens here. Exemplo. Exemplo. So we have exato, exame, exemplo. The letter X also has the sound of sh. Like, for example, the word she. Yeah. Sherry. Sh. Caixa. Caixa. It means box. In everyday language, we do not pronounce the letter I. We say just kasha, kasha. Of course, people tend to eliminate vowels. Né? Kasha or kasha. Enxaqueca. This is a very interesting word. We say enxaqueca. Incha que ka. So here you have the letter C with the sound of a K. And also, I have explained this before, the letter K, uh, Q, also with the sound of a K. And here the X with sound of a SH. Enxaqueca, that means strong headache or migraine. Lixo, lixo, that means trash. Lixo. Okay? And then we have the normal sound of an X, which is X, X, just like in, in, in English, né? taxi, for example. Sexo, 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 uh, fax, the same word in English, fax, relax, the same thing in English, relax, and thorax, this is the part of the body we call thorax. But we have words where the X is silent or is not pronounced. In words like excellent, excelente, is, this is the S, so we don't pronounce the X, excelente, chi, excess, we say e, se, su, we don't pronounce the X. And then eccentric, something very <laughs> eccentric. Eccentric. Finally, we get to the letter Z or Z. The letter Z has two sounds in Portuguese. The sound Z, which is normal. Z, like zebra, zebra. Zona. Zone, Zilda. This is a uh, woman's name. Zilda. So zebra, zona, zebra. The sound of a z. But the letter z has the sound of an s. Words like nariz, nariz, xadrez, chess, xadrez. In, in colloquial Portuguese, we say xadrez, xadrez. And this is the slang for prison, jail. Né? He is in jail. Ele está no xadrez. Voz, voice, voz, rapaz, young adult, um, masculine. Né? Like a young man, rapaz. Okay, now we come to the last phoneme. S and the letter is S, S. There are eight phonemes with the letter S. So, let's see. We say S with the letter C in words like cenoura. Even though you write it with O-U, we pronounce it close. We say cenoura. Né? Cenoura, like roupa, we say roupa. Ok, S, né? si, cenoura, cenoura, 
Doce. Doce. Huh? That means sweet. Something that is sweet, the opposite of salt. So, now we have s with the letter S. We have seen it already. So, seen, yes, seen, saw, alone, and salt, sal. So, seen, saw, sal. Now we have the, the sound s with the letter Z. We have already seen it. So, we have words like capaz, capaz, voz, voice. Capaz means able, to be able. Capaz and voz, voice. Now with the letter X, we have already seen it. So, s with the X. So, we say sexto, which means sixth. Né? Sexto, texto, text. Okay, now we have the sound s with double s, double s. In words like to bake, assar, assar, we say assar, assar, assault, assalto, assalto. Okay, this is L. Then we have s with the letter s together in the same syllable with the letter s, with the letter c. In words like swimming pool. P you see? P sina. Uh, to grow up, cre se. S C in the same syllable. Cre ser. We say e cre se. Then we have the same sound, the, the same phoneme with the letter S and Cecilia. I have already told you about this uh, letter. Okay. Desu. Cresço, grow up, cresço. Okay, and then finally, with the cecidilha by itself, né, we have words like, for example, action, ação, ação. We have words like maçã, apple, maçã. So, cecidilha with the sound of an S. Okay, as you can see, there are uh, eight different ways to express or to say the phonemus. Okay, with a C, with an S, with a Z, with an X, double S, S, C, S, C, C, G, or C, C, G, alone. Okay. Uh, this is my phone number and email in case you want to contact me for English lesson or Portuguese lesson. Okay, let me know. I hope to see you soon. Until then, ciao. Bye-bye.